So if you're on PC, you most likely use Discord to talk with your friends or create group chats or just run a Discord server in general. Now, Discord is perfectly fine to use while you're gaming. However, there are some stuff that you have to do in order to make sure it uses less system resources and doesn't hinder your gaming performance. Now, in this video, we're going to go over the Discord settings and a Discord get raw input data fix. So we're going to basically disable Discord asking for data from our master keyboard for whatever reason, so it doesn't use extra threads in our system so let's get started right with the video so just a recommendation for everyone that is watching this video I'd recommend just going to your uninstall programs in your Windows and uninstall discord and just install a fresh slate of discord just to make sure things are working properly and you don't have a bugged discord version now once you've done that all you want to do is you want to go to user settings on the bottom left you can go to game overlay make sure this is turned off it's never really a good idea to use this it just causes FPS drops and causes tremendous Input lag. Go to advanced and turn off hardware acceleration. Press OK and then wait for Discord to start. Then you're going to go back to user settings and you're going to go to voice and video. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure you disable debug logging. And what it does, it basically just saves debug logs to voice modules folder in Discord. So Discord can upload it for troubleshooting. So press OK on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much quit out of Discord. This is a really important step. If you don't quit out of Discord, you might bug your discord installation so just make sure you quit out of it you're gonna right click on this click quit discord and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the link in the description it's gonna take you to discord fixer and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click discord fixer.exe and it's gonna start downloading and as you can see i have it downloaded now what discord fixers pretty much is it just disables the threads responsible for calling get raw input data for discord and any other discord application so it's pretty simple to use you just put it in the discord folder where the update.exe program is in so how does it work it basically just finds finds discord exe and then once the correct file is located it just waits for a class name called right input to be created and then once it sees that it'll just instantly terminate it so it's a safe program you shouldn't have any issues running this and spring bind the run and you can look at the code in here and see if there's anything that seems weird or awkward for you to use pretty much safe to use so what you're going to do you're going to go to your search bar type percent local app data percent you're going to find the discord folder and then what you're going to do is you're going to copy the discord fixer into this folder so what you're gonna do you're gonna right click on discord fixer click copy go back to your other folder and then you're gonna paste it in the there now once you've pasted discord into the discord folder what you're gonna do is from now on we're gonna be launching discord using discord fixer.exe so once you click discord fixer.exe it should launch discord just like so just like you saw right there so from now on if you want to open up discord you have to double click discord fixer.exe and this is only just because you want to make sure that Discord doesn't call for that raw input data thread and the reason for that is just because you don't need discord getting information from your mouse and keyboard about raw input there's no point you want your game to do that but you don't want windows telling discord okay do this do this about your mouse and keyboard so really important that you do that it should fix mouse input lag issues if there are any and basically if you do want to make it easier for yourself to make sure that discord opens on startup you can create a shortcut to the discord fixer.exe you can for example place it on your desktop or you can search up shell startup with a colon in between that press enter and you can paste it in here and then once you start up your pc this program will automatically launch and then it will launch discord without that thread running so really cool program really cool tool and you should be getting no issues whatsoever using discord and now discord while you're gaming won't ask windows for data about your inputs and stuff like that better mouse feel and better keyboard input lag just while you're playing your games so if this video helped leave a like subscribe down below if you want to see more things like this and if you guys are interested in a full pc optimization service where i do stuff like this that are very simple all the way to optimizing your bio settings overclocking your parts if needed and optimizing your windows and drivers completely go to link in the description if you're interested in that but if you guys enjoyed comment down below what you want to see next i'll see you guys in the next one peace out